Hi everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week. Sure, it was very interesting for everyone. Um, as everyone knows, Disney World is closed. So that means we had to postpone our vacation. Yeah, um, so we have postponed that till September. And um, yeah, also the 30K race that I was have been training very hard for um has also been canceled so pretty depressing friday when i learned all that information so just trying to deal with everything day by day as everything is constantly changing as uh yeah the every day seems to be new restrictions new things closing things like that um, I do have tomorrow off from work just because I used a vacation day. <laughs> Obviously, I changed up my vacation day since, uh, uh, the changes have happened, um, with the coronavirus, but, um, did, I didn't need a day off, so I did take tomorrow off, but I had been, I have been working all weekend trying to get things straight and with everything changing on a daily basis um yeah there's lots to be done and probably will be end up doing some work tomorrow as well on my day off but oh well that is that so yeah it's just kind of hard i'm sure everyone feels the same about the uncertainty of everything um did go to the grocery store today and it wasn't crazy so that's good um yeah it was it was all right, so so that's good. Um, but yeah, what else I did today was I did do a 16-kilometer run today. I was supposed to do 30, but since my race is canceled, I dialed that down a little bit. And then we had an early birthday lunch for my son, whose birthday is upcoming on Friday. That's why we were going on a trip. Um, we did end up buying tickets to Legoland in Toronto as kind of a, a secondary gift after the trip was canceled. Um, but I'm thinking that's probably not going to be a go by the end of the week either. We can use those tickets anytime though throughout the year. So yeah, how things are going, I think that's probably going to be a no go too, but we will see. Um, yeah, and then so my parents had come to visit and my mother-in-law, uh, so yeah, he got some presents, he got this toddler camera that he really likes, so yeah, it was a good day that way. And now all of a sudden I'm sniffly. But I have problems with my nasal passages, so I think that's probably what it is. Uh, yeah, so that was my day and yeah again just trying to get my head wrapped around everything that is continuously changing has been pretty pretty tiring as i'm sure it has been for most people so i know that i'm not the only one that's dealing with it obviously um most of the world is but uh yeah hopefully things kind of get settled down very soon but obviously the next few weeks are still gonna be interesting um thank you to all my subscribers i i finally hit 100 and you get an email from youtube when that happens so that was pretty exciting um as far as haul goes i did get uh rooster and hens from little house needleworks come in to my local lns which is stitches central and so i'd ordered it with all the floss and I have actually started it that started it as well. So why don't we just go right into that? Um, for um, my whips for this week, Enchanted Stitches Facebook group is Pirates of the Caribbean. As I mentioned before. Now I'm finding it hard to kind of figure out what to do for the prompts. So for that one, I only did one prompt, which was stitch on something that had a nautical element or a woman. And well, Rooster and Hens has a woman right there. Sorry for the glare. 
so that works. So I actually made it's pretty good progress on that. Just stick this needle here. So pretty good progress there. It's kind of difficult to see the white. You see that chicken right here? On there? I think it'll be okay. I guess worst case scenario I could do a little bit of back stitching around them. It's just hard to see on that fabric. This is just like an oatmeal, I think. An oatmeal Ada just that I got from Michael's. So I'll do a few more chickens and see. Uh, and then make a, a decision from there how they turn out. But that's uh, stitching up quickly. Also, the one um, is a stitch along in the Country Cottage Needleworks Little House Needleworks Facebook group for this month as well. So. I'll be posting a picture in that Facebook group as well. For magical stitches, we had to stitch on something that has hair, feathers, or scales. So for that one, I pulled out Llama Lump. Oh, again, sorry for the glare. A little bit better. Llama Lump. You've all seen it. I just started uh, working on that one tonight, actually. And while we were watching Frozen, Frozen 2 has not been released on Disney Plus yet in Canada. So here, this was come on Tuesday. We were looking for it tonight, but it was not there yet. So worked on that a bit. So got a little bit more of the white llama done. And this is on um, Fortnite fabric, fabric from uh, one of their auctions is where that's from. Which I kind of missed the auction tonight. I well, I saw it earlier, but then I was distracted, and again, I don't, I don't know what's I'm coming and going. So, with Jack's birthday today, birthday party today, and then um, work texting me a lot today. It's just yeah, very distracting day. I think I'm ready for bed. And then, um, second for magical stitches is, um, stitch on something you find under the sea. So at first I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to stitch on that. And then I really wanted to work on my Hade yesterday. Cause I just kind of wanted to work on a big project. And well, you can find both turtles under the sea in sand, right? That works for that. So that's endurance. And then I made mean, pretty good progress on that. Again, it's so hard to see progress on it, but I did make some progress. <laughs> Nothing really of notable progress, but I made progress. So that's all I worked on this week. So just those three. Um, yeah. So that's yeah, all I got for those, but, um, but I was really looking forward to stitching the, um, the rooster and hens. So, oh, I did get a little bit of finishing haul from Michael's. Um, I did get another, um, one of those egg crates. Um, they had 45% off of their, uh, other Easter decor. So I got that and then I just got couple other things to kind of go on it. Nothing too overly exciting. Um, but it ended up costing me only $12, 12 and change for like all the stuff I got, which is less than I think the egg crate was originally. So, so that was good that I was able to, to get that. Um, as far as the March across it goes for 24 hours across stitch. I, I still need to get back to that and see where I'm at um, with that. I really need to sit down and uh, take a look at my 24-hour cross-stitch planner um, a little bit more. And then I just wanted to mention the um, birthday stitch along that I'm going to start on April 1st. Um, Co-hosted with um, Carla Bean Crafty. And that's the Clem... 
Clementine um, style that we're going to be doing, like Plum, uh, Plum Street Sampler. And so hashtag Clem Sal, C L E M S A L, is um, the is the hashtag we're gonna use for that. I still need to get all the floss, and I still don't know really what fabric I'm gonna use for it. And I'm thinking I should probably get the floss in around later before my LNS decides to close as well because of the coronavirus. Because I figure it's just gonna be a matter of time until kind of everything closes um everything has now closed that kind of have anything related with children so any of the indoor play areas um all recreation centers um next week is march break everything is canceled for that um yeah i don't, I don't know i just feel like we're gonna go stir crazy pretty pretty quickly I think next week, though, the weather shouldn't be too, too bad. So we might be able to get outside a little bit more. I, I think it's just going to be a matter of time until the government says, like, don't go to work. So, I, and I just don't know what will happen, like, with that. Um, like, and how that, that will be affected. Um, I can definitely do some work from home. That's not an issue but um yeah but being in the line of work that i am which is a, a staffing agency obviously we are putting people to work every day so i don't know just i guess the uncertainty is really weighing on me so uh, i don't want to bring everyone down because i know everyone else is also dealing with uh the same issues same concerns i'm sure but i guess just take one day at a time and at least we have our stitching to keep us occupied and to, yeah, to, to keep us distracted, I guess, a little bit as well. So when we are cooped up in the house for two weeks or whatever that may look like, at least um, we have that. So I don't think I have anything else to talk about as far as plans go. I'm not too sure because I really feel like you can't really plan for anything these days. But, um, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. Hopefully things kind of calm down and we are able to kind of figure out this new normal and everyone stays healthy. So fingers crossed with that. So I think that's all I have to say. I hope every, again, hopefully everyone has a good week and we'll see you next week.